been a while since we've done one of these and there's a few things that have changed. It's a little what's in the bag and also a teaser for what is to come. A few things have changed in my bag at the minute and there's some spots that are up for grabs. Um, bag still very much the same, a Ping Hoofer bag. Absolutely love Ping bags, I don't think I'd ever change from one of those. Still using the Precision Pro range finders, fantastic piece of kit that. Um, the first thing that's changed is actually a club that I bought randomly. Walked into the pro shop at Warrington the other day and saw this, the Odyssey DF DFX number no. seven. So it's the fang-like putter and it's the DFX finish. So if you don't know, these were out in sort of 2003, 2004 era. Um, one of the DFX finishes, it accompanied the white hot finish. It was a little bit firmer. Now, these are actually uh, a little bit softer than the original white hot. Um, it's got the blacked out look of it, which is why I liked it. Got the big lines, grip on it. I picked it up and I thought, you know what? I fancy a bit of a change and that is staying in the bag at the minute. It's absolutely lovely easy to roll and what I do like if you just come in close here the face on the old ones I think well my perception were a little bit shallower here so the depth of the face is a little bit deeper now and I always felt when I had one of these in the past that I was almost going to sky my putts and get underneath it um, but no now DFX number seven is the first thing that has changed and that hopefully won't be changing it's very much like my even roll that but just a slightly different insert. So that is number one. One club that uh, I probably won't change for a long time, really, is struggle to find a good fairway wood. Titleist TSI number two, uh, that is my three wood. 15 degrees, I've actually got that in the wrong setting. I moved that the other day for some reason, but set at A1 normally, um, gorgeous little fairway wood that. Nice compact little head. It's got the Tensai 75 um, TX Flex in that one. That is my three wood, that is the three wood. Um, one thing that I want to change, I've just been trying out and whether I, I need to get, I think for drivers now, if they go in the bag, I need to be fit for them because you can do so much with a driver nowadays. But currently I've got the new Mizuno STG 220 driver. I've done a couple of videos with this already, just literally got it out of the box and thought, let's try the adjustability on this. Let's talk about the, uh, the loft. A lot of people get a driver and don't know how to change the loft on it. So I've done a couple of videos on those. Check them out if you haven't seen that already. You'll see them up there somewhere. Um, lovely driver, lovely driver. I need fitting for it though. I don't think the, the shaft is right and the, the weight's in the right place and so on. So I'm gonna potentially get a fitting on that, but I'm open to trying a lot of other drivers at the moment. I did have the long driver, the Callaway Epic in there um, with a long drive shaft. I just found when you wanna hit a little bit of a fairway finder shot, I couldn't quite do that with the long driver shaft. The head, Callaway Epic, absolutely amazing. I had the Epic Speed and it was pure. So I think it would maybe be one of these, potentially a ping or a Callaway driver that I want to get fit for as I go through it. Uh, next change though, and this thing, I've not been fit for this, but I've literally played with this now and it, uh, probably a couple of months and it is just class. Srixen ZX little hybrid, number three, 19 degrees, hazardous smoke, 6.5 in there, I do like the look of driving irons, but I never seem to hit them as well as I do a hybrid. So that thing off the tee goes about 230, off the fairway, very similar. So versatile, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hit it low, high, shape it how you want. It has been a true little beauty, that one. And like I say, I don't think I'll be changing that anytime soon because it is, it is gorgeous. Looks beautiful behind the golf ball. Oh, got a little chip on it. No, I'm not. Looks gorgeous behind the golf ball. It's it's pure, that one. I absolutely love that. It's a, a class and probably a brand that I think more people should look into the tricks and stuff. Next thing, we've got 
the Callaway, uh, not Callaway, I've got the Mizuno T22 wedges. I've got three finishes here, just trying those out at the moment. I've got the denim copper, tall satin, and the normal chrome look there, 50, 56, 60. I am changing my loft slide. I've been 50, 54, 8, 58 for years, but looking at a 60 a little bit at the moment, just to be a bit more versatile as I go through and a 56 for a little bit more bunker play. But I'm liking those, they spin great, they feel great. Um, so they're probably gonna stay. I'll probably get them all in denim cop and finish though, because I mean, just, just look at that beauty. How good does that look? That is one cool color. Doesn't glare in the sun either. It's, it's a beauty, it is a beauty. Then, this is where I want to talk about a new series to come. I'm gonna change my irons very soon. I've had Mizunos for about a year now, but currently at the moment, I've got these two in the bag. I've got the Cobra and Cobra Tours with the MIM technology in those. And then I've got some Shrixens ZX7s. Now I'm gonna be trying out some clubs over the winter, some different irons. I just fancy changing my irons up a little bit. Well, Mizunos, I absolutely love them and I will be trying out the, uh, the new Mizunos as well. Um, but I've got a few sets lined up to try out these. Titleist, um, Shrixen Cobra, Mizunos. I think we're getting some Callaways to try out as well. I just want to have a look at some different options and see what's out there and also inform you guys a little bit about them. And then I'm going to go and get fit for that set with that manufacturer once I choose those sets. So that is my bag currently. Totally mixed bag at the moment, but do you know what? I'm absolutely loving it. Using the Pro V1 still. Um, I might change that to a tailor-made TP5 after trying those in the ball test. If you haven't seen that, link's up there, click that one. Which really is the best premium golf ball because this boy here, the Pro V1, is always considered the gold standard. But will we find that tailor-made, Shrixen, or even Callaway actually are knocking this boy off the podium? Tailor-made TP5 ball really impressed me. They were decent, but that is currently at the moment. Irons are changing, driver want to get a proper fit for, wedge are going to go all denim copper, and then from there, jobs are good and we've got a full bag that'll probably change, you know, maybe again in about six months if I get fed up and bored, but that is it. Stay tuned as well, like I say, for that new iron series because you will see my new studio in that very soon, and then you'll get a look around there as well once it's all built. Guys, thanks for watching quick little video about what's in my bag hope you enjoyed it and like i say stay tuned for the the new stuff to come see you on the golf course soon bye